We're back with CBS News correspondent Cheryl Atkinson, who's been following the BP oil spill since day one. What do you make of what you've just heard? I do wonder if we're going to see a growing rift between this partnership with the administration, the Obama administration, Congress, and BP, because this is the first time I heard BP so strongly say, hey, the government's to blame for those bad figures, and the government saying back, of course, that BP is to blame for those bad oil flow estimates. And, and with the investigation ongoing, we've got reports, we've got hearings going on. What do you think is the biggest question that's going to be coming up? My biggest concern in covering all of this is getting accurate information. I still don't have a high degree of confidence that we'll be able to rely on the information that we get either from BP or the government. And briefly, I just wanted to point to BP announcing top kill failing. First on Friday when technicians were saying it wasn't working, BP said it's still working, so far so good. And even in announcing the failure, the words they used at BP were, despite successfully pumping a total of 30,000 barrels of heavy mud, the operation did not overcome the flow of the well. I think they're sugarcoating the facts. I think the government is relying very much on what BP has to say in its assessment of things. Um, we'll have to see whether that changes, but as a journalist and reporter, I don't have a high degree of confidence that we can trust the information. What about in these investigations? BP has been cooperating, supposedly, supplying information. Have they been forthcoming in terms of what they've been handing out to investigators? I think there's no way to know for sure. The investigators I've spoken to on Capitol Hill aren't sure. You don't know what they've turned in and what they haven't turned over necessarily. Part of the problem with this Pollution Act that gives them a lot of control is you have, in essence, put a company that could very well be a criminal defendant, ultimately, in charge of what could very well prove to be the crime scene. And this is a strange situation. Well, I want to ask you about that criminal activity. Uh, Congressman Markey suggested that, you know, if there's ever an instance in which there has been environmentally that there has been criminal activity here. Do you see it that way? Well, I do know that seven senators have written a letter asking the attorney general to open a criminal investigation. I think we may see that. So far, they're looking at the perspective from BP getting a permit to drill like this, perhaps under false pretenses, because they said, remember, they could take care of any scenario. This would not happen. So, so far, the inquiry is looking into whether leading up to this, they misled the government, which may not have been doing its proper job in oversight, but may have also been misled by BP. Do you think very quickly that uh, this criminal push will happen quickly or that it has to kind of wait till this whole cleanup is resolved? I think the government initially hoped it would go slowly. I think there will be pressure to open a criminal investigation and announce that uh, sooner rather than later. Okay, Cheryl, thanks so much. You're welcome.